I want to see you. All right, come on up. Let's get it over with. Then there is someone else. Is that it? Ed, how can any man take your place? Just explain to me. All I want is to understand. Problems, Mitch? Nope. This is a pleasure, Mr. Blake. The luggage in the back seat. Strictly pleasure.
Are there any messages for me? I don't think so, but I could check. Multiple slashes and multiple stab wounds of undetermined depth to the breast, abdomen, and upper legs. Can't establish an exact count of a wound until, well, until we get her washed out. Preliminary examination would indicate massive blood loss as primary cause of death. Pool blood underneath the body would indicate that uh, we'll find additional wounds to the subject's back. Surface pathology would indicate she's been dead 11 to oh, 18 hours as of 3.45 p.m. Monday. Anything you want to look at, Ed, before we turn her over? Is there anything I should see? Now, this might uh, interest you. Killer must have torn off her earrings, but there's no blood loss, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, did it after she was dead. Must have killed her and looted the place. Shame, good-looking young girl like that. Yeah. We're gonna have the autopsy report. Well, first thing tomorrow. And who was she? Name was Judith Keel. She was a receptionist at Grayson and Burns Advertising. Oh, okay. Well, how much do receptionists earn? Something for you to check out. Oh, look, Lieutenant, give this one to one of your other teams. Rico, my plate's full with the Lobata case, the Shea murders. No way. It's yours. Starting now. Asshole. Yeah, well, we've got this one. You better go talk to the neighbors. When did you see the bomb? Mm -hmm. Okay. You. That's right. I thought so. I wasn't sure, but what the hell, I took a chance. We haven't actually met, but uh, I was one of the milkmaids, you know, in that commercial you did for dairy bars last year? Lois Hayes. Listen, do you mind if I, uh... Well, to be honest, I, uh... Just for a sec, okay? I've got a bus to catch. No, the first time I saw it on the air, the commercial, I mean, it came on right after the news. And I called everybody I knew. It was so great. You know, it's in the back row, but if you knew where to look, it was, uh... Are you doing any more of those? I mean, that kind of commercial? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, uh, we lost that account. Well, I hope it wasn't my fault. No, I think it was mine. <laughs> May I get you something? Sure, thanks. Hi. Hi. A Manhattan, please. Oh, is there any back yet? No, not yet. I dance here sometimes. The owner owes me some money. It's my last chance to pick it up. I'm going to Los Angeles. Los Angeles? On the bus tonight. What are you gonna do? I don't know, you know, the usual. I'd like to try to act, dance. I'm a trained dancer. And even if it doesn't work out, at least I would have tried, right? You know, I don't remember ever seeing you dance in here. <sighs> well, you probably don't recognize me. I look a lot better under a strobe light. Did, did I lose an earring or something? It just reminded me of something. It's a nervous habit. A lot of women are nervous. I remember you. In that commercial? <laughs> really? All right. It's been done. Thank 
tenant on this floor. Nobody heard anything, nobody saw anything. What about the doorman? No doorman. That's great. Look, we've got to comb this place. I think she'd have heard something. Yeah. Still that lock they jammed in the tumblers. Forensics are going to take it apart. I think I'm being completely realistic. I mean, I know it's not going to be easy, but it's got to be better than this place, right? I'm just going to uh, clear this up. I, uh, I've got an idea. My car is just outside. Well, lucky you. Uh, and as strange as this may seem, I'm going your way. Where? Are you going to California? Uh -huh. uh, you, you're kidding me. I mean, you're not serious. You know, you're crazy. You don't even know me. You were in the back row, the second from the uh, right. Third. Third. Just not that simple. Coming back to finish your drink, Lois? Well, I'm talking with my friend here. Why don't you wait a minute and I'll come over? No, I think I'll wait long enough. I don't quite understand. Is I'm you... talking to her. I understand. I can see you're Let's talking. Let's keep out of it. Look, why don't you just go over there and I'll come over in a minute. No, I don't think so. Get your fucking hands off of me. Bitch. Oh!
friends. John helped me get you out of there when Ernie called the police. If he hadn't, it would have been serious. I mean, they were never going to let you leave town. That guy's face was split wide open. We had to tell Ernie we were taking you to emergency, that we knew you. We just kept on going. You did ask me. I asked you. John was with me. We were traveling together. I started to tell you that when that jerk came over. Ah, so it was bad timing. You uh, definitely would have told me. Yes, of course. Of course. Look, if this is such a big hassle for you, let's just forget it. We'll catch a ride with somebody else. I just don't like being lied to. It's not a lie. Let it go. He believes what he wants to believe. I just don't like being accused. You said you had a bus ticket? That's right. Let's see it. Sure. Did I give them to you? No. They may be in my pack in your car. Well, let's go get it. I did give them to you, remember? Uh, in the club? Somebody picked your pocket? <clears throat> Could have dumped you in a ditch an hour ago. Your husband's here. How are you feeling? We had a pretty good day. Spent a couple of hours in the garden this afternoon. Looks like you got some color. Helen, could you find a vase and some water for these, please? Sure, I'll take them. Leave you two alone. Um, could you try? or otherwise. That's just a notion, a joke to play against people like us. If there was any justice, I wouldn't be without you. All that really counts is I can get the money and the power so that we can survive the bad breaks and the assholes. Everything's gonna be just fine. I promise you. For some reason, it's important to me that you believe me. You're still in the car. How could I have set you up? How could I possibly even know you were going to go to the club? Evan? At your point. You know me. You remembered me. Actually, I wasn't very involved in the commercial you did. Harry Burns handled the production details. As far as I know, I have never set eyes on you before today. Is there room in there anywhere for me to say thank you? For what? For the club. For standing up for me. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that... No, don't get out. Don't do it. I, I can explain. Let me explain. Don't. Out. No. You two. 
for Christ's sake. The, the, the knife is all I got. I thought I told you to move. Evan! Move! Evan, move. please! Believe me, he's telling the truth! Yeah? Please! Stop. Please listen to me! Shut up! You got it wrong. It's wrong. acquainted. I'm beginning to see the possibilities of this trip. What are you waiting for, John? Why not? You're broke. I've got a car, money, credit cards. Credit cards would have to be dumped. Credit cards could be traced. Listen, Evan, I was in jail for a couple of months. Just a couple of months, but it was enough. Murder. Pass. So what are you what are you gonna do? All I wanna do is get home to LA and get my career together. Sounds modest enough, and what about her? She speaks for herself. I say we get the hell away from here right now. He's not the crazy one. You're the one that provoked him. Did you see his eyes? Did you look in his eyes? There was a moment there when he was really fucking gonna do it. Yeah, well, he didn't pull the knife. I was protecting myself, protecting us. You were stupid. Yeah, just whose side are you on now? Mine! I've been through a lot of shit for you, baby, and if you think I'm just gonna sit back and get dumped on, you have another thing coming. Don't threaten me! Ah, just don't fucking con me! I know what you're up to, baby. I know all about you. Just think about that. Think real hard about it. You're on 117. We're upstairs. What's in this? Your machine gun? 
I'm a musician. It's what I do. Really? I was wondering what you did. You have a good night. It's okay. In the bar? Mm -hmm. You said I reminded you of somebody. Did she used to do this? No, that was just a momentary thing. I've got some tequila in my pack. You want me to pour us a couple of shots? Watch out for. Really? 
Keel. Most people call me Judy. I'm five foot ten. I wear a size nine. I swim. I play tennis, and I'm a good rider. I'm represented by the Fontaine. Did you hire this girl, Mr. Burns? They make a lot of these tapes. Girls with potential gives the clients a better idea. Did she do much modeling? Well, she could have, but uh, Judy didn't take it very seriously. She was a receptionist here. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right for you, Paul. Good. Who's that talking to her? Right. Our creative director, Evan Blay. How much does a receptionist make? For us? I don't know. I'd have to check. Why? Does she have another means of income? I couldn't say. Good, good, good. Have the other Did she way. Did you visit her apartment? Certainly not. What kind of question is that? She lived very well. I was wondering how she managed. No offense. That's it. That's it. Come on. Now just hold it right there. Did anyone at the AC ever date her? Yeah, both hands on you. Just like that. Just stay right there. I wouldn't know. That's none of my business. It's easy ah, to check. All right. Evan might have. I'd like to speak to him. He's on vacation. Where? California somewhere. He's driving. When did he leave? Last Saturday. Are you sure? That's what he told me. He's usually disciplined about such things. You expect to hear from him? No. It's an extended vacation. A rest. Why, is there something wrong? Yes. He's tired. I'd like to have a look at Evan Blaze's office. Sergeant, I've known Evan Blay as a friend and a colleague for 16 years, and, and I... you wouldn't kill anyone. That's right. Yes, we did. And you? There was water dripping somewhere. I was listening to it all night. Little noises drive John crazy. I'll make a note of that. Well, look, Evan, the breakfast special is waffles. You like waffles. How did you know that? Uh, I can always spot a waffles, man. My desire to uh, to protect Evan from certain implications, I I think I may have inadvertently have made things worse. Well, this is only a routine investigation. Yes, I understand that, but obviously I was not very forthcoming earlier, and I wouldn't want that to reflect on Evan. You see, Evan was involved with Judy, and had been for months. Uh, He'd finally begun to realize what she was, and that it wasn't working. What was she? <sighs> Highly independent. Um... Did that irritate him? No, no, Evan wasn't like that. See, he had, he had a history of such liaisons before. He, he was once married to someone very much like Judy. Uh, Yes, we tend to repeat our mistakes rather than correct them. Well, anyway, I, I, I didn't want you to get the wrong impression. Excuse me. Do you 
you know of any reason why Evan Blair would hire a private detective? No. No, I don't. soul arrest? Well, no problem. No, sir. Now that's nice music. Not really your kind of style, though, is it? You need something you can shake your tits to. Huh? Evan knows that I dance at the bandit. I'm not embarrassed about it. So what are you ashamed of? Knowing an asshole like you, asshole. Asshole? Asshole? God, you hear that language? What do you think, Evan? I think you were truly one of the great human beings. You and I see eye to eye. You make any money with your music, John? Oh, are you kidding? This guy is the troubadour of Rittenhouse Square. He's got a beautiful little place right by the bank building. What do you make a night there, John? Six? Seven dollars? At least. Mm, and he does tricks, too. Yep. Throw him a quarter and see if he can catch it. He's so good. Speaking of tricks. So I take it your talent still awaits uh, discovery. Musical talent, that is, John. Yeah. Still waiting. That's why I'm going to call my next album. Her next movie. This one didn't turn out too good. Hello, Royce. Glenn. Hello, Rowena. Don't you have a few calls to make? Nice to have met you. Nice to have met you. Looking very prosperous. I think you were wearing that suit while I was still on the force. Do you have a client, Evan Blay? Why do you need a private investigator? Why don't you ask you? I'm asking you. Is this a criminal investigation? I'm with homicide now, Glenn. I don't need your Gordon Liddy act. I can subpoena the information if I have to. The kill murder? To start with. Why was she being followed? We had her under surveillance briefly. And? Nothing. Any other men? How did Blay take that? Like they all do. Like he knew it all along. That's it? He's a very tense man. Who is your operative? You know, I can't divulge that kind of information. <laughs> Overland? You know, Ed, you really ought to get in your suit. It's too risky. All the well-dressed cops I know are on the take. Go on. Give him 
what he wants. Evan, are you awake? Maybe. Shit like you make that kind of money. I earned it, asshole. You know what I think? You need your mouth washed. when you've been falling around, you got this sickle thing for, right? <laughs> no. Last Sunday, you took your lockpick, you worked your way in, and you fucking did that job. It was Blay. Evan Blay, he did it. How do you know that? I've been following him around for the last couple of weeks on surveillance, I know. Why? Your job for Cosgrove is over. Because I thought he was going to do something to her. You going to shake him down for that? Blay had no reason to kill him. Look, I faked those reports. That's bullshit. No, no, I whitewashed them. Yeah, Keto now. She had, she had her own number going, some kind of a threesome. It was Blaze Boss. Harry Byrne? <laughs> and some other chick. He paid you for the whitewash? When I found out who Burns was, I thought he'd really be happy, you see. 
to pay me off. To keep my mouth shut. So I just wouldn't tell Blake. And you did. Listen, Kyle Overland. If Blake didn't know about it, he had no reason to kill her. I want a lawyer. Lawyer doesn't do you any good. I've got you on B&E, theft, extortion, automatic accessory in the kill murder. Honest to God, I, I didn't kill her. You tell me the whole story. You make it real good. And I'll try and make a break for you somewhere. You think about it. Shoot me? Go ahead. John! Slow down. John, will you give it back to him? No! Give it back to him, will you? For Christ's sake! You see it? You see it? Get it from him. He threw it out! It's gone! Get it! I just threw it out to get rid of it, for Christ's sake. What are you doing? Are you crazy or something? What the hell are you doing? My... Damn, you Listen, little son of a bitch! Come on, Evan! You! For Christ's sake, you guys! You're gonna get killed! Oh. Oh. Go on! Back in the car. Evan, you can't just leave him. Evan, you can't. He wasn't trying to hurt us. He
sex thing. Oh, come on, it had to be. I mean, after Burns paid me off, I figured it was. Who was the other girl? I don't know. Burns used to pick her up and drop her off at Rittenhouse Square. I pegged her for a hooker. Not now. Oh, I gotta have a drink. What about a play? Well, this was just a hunt, see? You're gonna put the squeeze on him just like Burns. Yeah. I followed him to Maryland one day. He bought a 38. That's when I knew he was going over the edge. The kill wasn't shot. No, 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 wait. I followed that sucker for 10 days. I was just waiting for him. I was just waiting for him to make his move. But he didn't. He didn't go near Keel. But on Sunday. What time? Around 10. That's when he did. He drove over to Keel's. And then I saw them arguing back and forth over the intercom. This time, she let him up. You followed him up to the apartment? No, no. It was now or never. So I waited around. Who comes running out? Play. He just runs out into his Mercedes. And he takes off like a bat of hell. And you let yourself in? Yeah. I went in and checked everything out. Then I went in that bedroom. Oh, God. I never seen anything like that before in my life. And I swear to God, I didn't, I didn't kill it. So I just took right off. You're lying to me. No, no. I swear to God, that's the way it went down. You had time to take her jewelry, man. You even tore the earrings off of her. All right, all right. I took the jewelry. I only got a grand out of the whole works, but I swear to God, I didn't kill her. Tell me, John, what have you got on Lois? What are you talking about? What's your hold on her? What is it about you that would inspire loyalty? I mean, I'm curious. You don't sleep with her. Is that what she said? Was she lying? I take it that's a no. And yet you want certain sexual favors from her. Now, how does that work? We're friends. Ah, that explains everything. Yeah, it does. What were you in jail for? What'd you do? I robbed a candy store. Armed robbery? Water pistol. You're a real tough guy, John. Maybe that's what she sees in you. Whatever it is, here I am. Excuse me. Do you know a tenant called Evan Blay? Sure. But he's not here. He left Monday on a trip. Monday? You sure it was Saturday or Sunday? Monday. I wasn't on duty this weekend. I'll need a description of his car and his plate number. Does the boyfriend look right? Looks like he left on Saturday. Look, I got more checking to do. the jewelry is turned up at Andrew de Leon's pawn shop, ticketed under the name of Smith. Whoever he is, 
He doesn't have an overdose of imagination. Three, the M.E. says no rape. Four, her boyfriend left town on Saturday. And the Cosgrove surveillance blows the boyfriend's motive right out of the water. So, looks like what we have is a straight B and E with murder tacked on. Any comments? What about Prince? All kinds, all different. We'll probably be able to match a few when we get our man. Too bad it couldn't have been the boyfriend. Somebody must have seen him. It's going to take a lot of legwork. No two ways about it. Yeah, it's going to be one of those cases where we pick up some punk a year from now for jaywalking and he starts telling us what a bad boy he's been. Let's be a little more positive, okay? Let me see your reports. All of them, Rico. He says the food's great, and there's a band and dancing. You think about it. from Oklahoma, and Oklahoma is okay. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. You said it. <laughs> Have you been in St. Louis long, Alma Jean? Uh, Waiter. Two, two months. It is so darn lonesome here. Alma Jean goes to petition school. <laughs> uh, are you musicians, too? No, we're not quite sure what we are. Oh. <laughs> is everybody ready for another? We're going to have fun tonight. <laughs> Wash your hands. Here you 
always like that? Mm. Always. Holler if you need help. I think we should order something to eat. We can get room service at the motel. sense of Sicily solidarity. Alma Jean's in trouble here. Real deep trouble. <laughs> Come on in. I can't handle this all by myself. Lois, he's ganging up on me. Don't have time for reload. Time out. Reload. Let's call it a night, all right? You gotta join the party before you cancel it, baby. I tell you what we're gonna do. Let's all get together. <laughs> and make Lois feel better, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's the least we can do. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Just have to decide how to deal with this. No, no, please. please. He's going to come back. We're not going to get rid no, of him. No, just let him go, please. That's what you want. Let him go. Please. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Sorry. I'm gonna come back, you know, Evan. He's too scared. He knows how I feel about you. You can see it. And he's right. He's right. Evan? privileged to know Judith Keel, recognized in her a rare creature, echoing a beauty of soul and spirit that touched all around her with a sense of wonder and admiration. She was a woman of boundless energy and vitality and vaulting ambition, and we here, left behind, are devastated by her loss. 
There is none other like her. Nor will there be. You can start by telling me the truth about you and Judith Keel. I gave her the job about a year ago. I'd met her sometime before that. How? I advertised. In the personals column of a tabloid. You know, generous older gentleman seeks the company of, uh, uh, you know. She was a hooker. <laughs> There's a fine line. Judy took money, but she was genuinely interested in offbeat sexual arrangements. Like what? Almost anything. She favored women. So that's why you involved the other girl? Yeah. What was in it for you? I watched. Let's make something perfectly clear, Sergeant. I'm not ashamed of my sex life. I'm... I paid off Overland so Evan wouldn't find out. So you told Keel about Overland and she cut Lay off? Yes, she had a nasty temper. Tell me about the other girl. Rita Hoff. Don't know very much about her. I found her the same way I found Judy. Sometimes Judy called her Lois. Did she and Keel get along? Not quite well. They saw each other often after that on their own. Judy was a very domineering woman. She had Rita in her power. Amazing woman, Judy, in spite of everything. Well, if it's of any comfort, our investigations have pretty well cleared Blay. Oh, good. I'm relieved. Well, how does that affect what I've told you here? It's not relevant. It won't go any farther. Thank you, Sergeant. I appreciate that. I looked for you. Where were you? I had to think. Did John show up? No. Excuse me. I think we should leave right now. Just the two of us. I want you to come with me. because I've been setting up a way to get us some money. A lot of money. I know you wouldn't approve of it, babe, because it's not legal. Who really cares who killed that girl and whether I put anyone away for it? She's gonna stay dead. If I'd done something like this a year ago, we could have afforded the best treatment for you. You'd probably be better now. We'd be happy, like we were.
just going to sleep it off. Lieutenant, Lieutenant, I'll be in Monday with her, and better or not. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. Yes? Could I have a word with you in private? Who are you? 
It'll only take a few minutes. Well, we were just on our way out. Concerns uh, Judith Keel. Um, I'm going to go up the trail. I'll meet you up ahead, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, go on. Bye. I didn't expect you to have company. I asked you who you are. My name's Ed Rorsch. Philadelphia Police. Can I come in? Sure. What is it about Judith? She's dead. She's what? She's dead. You know that. You can drop your act any time now. I know you killed her. I can prove it. Nick Overland was tailing you the whole time. He was outside Kiel's apartment Sunday night. He was watching you. He was going to shake you down. Everything I've told you so far is unofficial. It's between you, me, and Overland. And I took care of Overland. Do you follow? Look, you're a very successful man. You have everything. Why lose it all because of one mistake? Judith Keel was a bitch. She was crazy, I know that. She pushed you too far. It happens every day. But there's a way out, and I'm offering it to you. A hundred thousand dollars. She was alive when I left her. Alive. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna like prison play. You know what happened to a man like you in prison? I never could have hurt her. Never. I didn't come 2,000 miles to listen to your goddamn lies. I've got you. Do you? Uh, from what you said, you've been concealing a lot of evidence. How would you explain that? How would you explain this proposition? Easy, I came out here on a hunch. It's your word against mine. The choice is yours. Don't be a fool, man. What's a hundred thousand dollars to a man like you? A hundred thousand dollars and you get out clean. Mister, I am clean. I didn't kill her. I can establish motive. I can put you at the murder site. I can nail you. Then you do it. Just try. Don't push me, Blay. Don't risk it. You'll excuse me? I have somebody waiting for me. The blonde? How's she gonna react when she finds out what you did to Judith Keel? You can say what you like to her. Lois will stand by me. Now get out! Lois. <laughs> you call her Lois? <laughs> Tell me about her. man is a police officer from Philadelphia. He came down here to tell me that Judith Keel is dead. Murdered. He says that you knew her. You and Keel and Burns? Wasn't that the way it was? Hey, Lois? Or maybe I should call you Rita. This whole thing? Some sort of a game? You set me up from the beginning. No. You're a lie. Everything about you is a lie. She was a monster, Evan. Why didn't you... Why didn't you see that? She used me. Just the same way she used you. When I saw the way that she treated you, we're the same. You and I, we feel things the same. 
I knew you were going to be at the club. That's true. I went there to meet you. I made John come and help me, but it wasn't any kind of a game. I just knew, I knew that if I could make you like me, you'd understand that we should be together. Did you kill Judith Keel? before proceeding with the search. Got to go. Check back. Over. That was John's knife, wasn't it? Even 
belong together. We have to be together, Evan. We love each other. We do love you. Don't you, Evan? Evan? Evan, you do love me.
what you get.